For today's video, we are going to talk about what is polynomials and we are going to explain in details how do we get the answer. So when we say polynomial, it is an algebraic expression that contains specific number of terms written in the form of ax raised to n, where a is a real number and n is a whole number. And there are different kinds of polynomials. A polynomial with one term is called monomial. Example of monomials are 5x, 3x squared, 9x cubed, and 7. So those are examples of monomial. Aside from that, we have a binomial. Binomial is a polynomial with two terms. For example, x plus 5, x squared minus 3x, and x cubed plus 8. And a polynomial with three terms is what we call trinomial. For example, x squared plus 5x minus 8, x cubed plus 6x minus 7, and 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So those are the different kinds of polynomials. In studying polynomials, there is what we call degree of a term and degree of a polynomial. The degree of a term in polynomial in x, it refers to the exponent of x. For example, if we are going to have a trinomial, 3x raised to 5 minus 4x squared plus 6. The degree of the first term, that is 5. The degree of the second term, that is 2. And the degree of our last term, that is 0. Always remember, the degree of any real number except 0 is zero. So therefore, the degree of the term in the given polynomials are 5, 2, and 0. And when we say degree of a polynomial, it refers to the highest degree among the degrees of the terms in the polynomials. In the given trinomial, 3x raised to 5 minus 4x squared plus 6, the first term has the highest degree of 5. So therefore, the degree of the polynomials is 5. So those are the basic concepts that you need to remember when we are talking about polynomials. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first set of example, we are going to identify which of the following algebraic expressions are polynomials. On number 1, we have 3x squared plus x minus 1. Number 1 is an example of a trinomial, so therefore it is a polynomial. On number 2, we have negative 10 plus x minus 3x cubed minus x raised to 5. Since there is no negative or fractional exponent, therefore, number 2 is also a polynomial. On number 3, we have 3x squared minus x plus 2x raised to negative 1. Number 3 is not a polynomial. simply because x in the third term has a negative exponent. On number 4, we have 2x raised to 4 plus x squared minus 3x plus 5x raised to 1 half. Number 4 is not a polynomial because x in the fourth term has a fractional exponent. Number 5, we have 24. So this one is an example of monomial, so therefore, it's a polynomial. On number 6, we have square root of 3, then x raised to 7 plus x raised to 4 minus 3x squared plus 4. Number 6 is an example of polynomial because there is no negative exponent or fractional exponent. On the second set of example, we are going to identify the different parts of the given polynomials. On number 1, we have 6x raised to 4 minus 7x squared plus 5. So what are the different terms in the given polynomials on number 1? So let us have 6x raised to 4 followed by negative 7x squared and 5. What about the coefficient of each term? So the coefficient of each term that is 6, negative 7, and 5. 
and the degree of each term that is 4 then we have 2 and the degree of 5 that is 0 and the leading term which is the highest degree that is 6x raised to 4 and the leading coefficient that is 6 and the degree of polynomial that is 4. On number 2, we have 3x squared plus 9 minus 8x plus 7x raised to 5. So the different terms are 7x raised to 5, 3x squared, negative 8x, and then 9. And the coefficients are 7, 3, negative 8, and 9. And the degree of the coefficients are 5, and then we have 2, and then we have 1, and the degree of 9, that is 0. And the leading term, that is the highest exponent, which is 7x raised to 5, and the leading coefficients, that is 7, and the degree of polynomial, that is 5. On example number 3, we have 3 plus 2x cubed minus 10x minus 3x squared. So the different terms in example number 3 are 2x cubed, negative 3x squared, negative 10x, and 3. And the coefficients of the terms are 2, negative 3, negative 10, and 3. And the degrees are 3, and then 2, and then we have 1, and the degree of 3, that is 0. And to identify the leading term, since 2x cubed has the highest exponent, the leading term is 2x cubed. And the leading coefficient, that is 2, and the degree of polynomial, that is 3. On number 4, we have 7xy plus 6x squared y minus 8 plus 3x squared y cubed minus 5xy squared. So let us identify the terms. So let's start with 3x square y cube followed by 6x square y and then negative 5x y square and then 7xy and finally negative 8. And the coefficients are, let's have 3 and then 6, negative 5, 7 and negative 8. And to identify the number of degrees, since we have two variables, all you have to do is to add their exponent. Let us have 2 plus 3, and that is 5. And then we have 2 plus 1, that is 3. 1 plus 2, that is also 3. 1 plus 1, that is 2. And the degree of negative 8, that is 0. And to identify the leading term, since 3x squared y cubed has a degree of 5, the leading term that is 3x squared y cubed. And the leading coefficients that is 3, and the degree of polynomial that is 5. And that is for this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.